Hello everyone and welcome to another very beautiful chess game of Paul Morphy. And in this game Paul Morphy has the black pieces and his opponent is John William Schulten. And this game has been played in New York in 1857. And this chess game is also one of the most famous and iconic chess games of Paul Morphy ever. And John William Schulten starts the game with playing e4, e5, f4. King's Gambit, d5, declined, e takes on d5, e4, knight to c3, knight to f6, d3, bishop to b4, bishop to d2, unpinning the knight, and Paul Morphy played e3, sacrificing the e-pawn, and opening the e-file for attack, so we have bishop takes on e3, and then Paul Morphy castled. Bishop to d2, unpinning the knight. Bishop takes knight. B takes on c3. And then Paul Morphy played rook to e8. That's check. Defending with the bishop, bishop to e2. But then Paul Morphy played bishop to g4. And the pressure is on e2. We have c4 defending on d5, and John William Schulten's pawn structure looks horrible. So Paul Morphy played c6, d takes on c6, knight takes on c6, and the knight is also joining the attack. And after this move, Schulten played a desperate move, and he played king to f1. Well, if let's say knight to f3, then bishop takes knight, g takes on f3, and the pawn structure looks even more horrible. So, after knight takes on c6, Schulten played king to f1, and it's black to move. And can you guess the next move of Paul Morphy? What would you do? if you had the black pieces. Well, Paul Morphy played rook takes on e2, sacrificing the exchange, knight takes on e2, and then we have knight to d4, double attacking on e2. So if Schulten moves his knight, Bishop takes queen, and also in this position black is threatening to win the queen. Bishop takes on e2 check also attacking the queen. So Schulten played queen to b1, what else? Bishop takes on e2, king to f2. Paul Morphy played knight to g4, check, king to g1. And Paul Morphy played a very beautiful move. And he played knight to f3, sacrificing the knight. g takes on f3. Paul Morphy sacrificed his knight for activating his queen. So Paul Morphy played queen to d4, check, king to g2, queen to f2, king to h3. Paul Morphy played queen takes on f3. And white is losing. We have king to h4, knight to h6, threatening checkmate, queen to g4, defending with the queen, knight to f5, king to g5, and then Paul Morphy played queen to h5, and that's checkmate. We have this very beautiful and also very famous checkmate by Paul Morphy. One of the most famous checkmates of Paul Morphy ever. Because of this very interesting last position. And I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. And I hope to see you next time. Take care.